how committed and how confident are you of meeting your budget deficit targets uh, for this year and the next, given that now commodities are falling, you know, especially palm oil prices and coal prices are on the way down? Well, first, last year, we have a very good year in terms of growth. We are 5.3. I think this is among the highest also uh, among the G20 as well as ASEAN country. We uh, have the result of our budget last year also much, much better than what we expected. That is the deficit is down very, uh, uh, very significantly to 2.38. Uh, which is much lower than originally 4.7% of GDP. So this year, uh, we are looking at the global economy, which is uh, the trend to be weakening. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful in terms of uh, the source of growth, which is coming from our export. Our export grew by 16% last year, mm -hmm. and also we enjoy a trade uh, surplus, which is 33, uh, 33 months in a row the highest in our history so that's uh, explained quite a lot not only in terms of growth but also stability of our exchange rate mm -hmm. this year we are looking at the growth from uh, the source of growth which is coming from domestic which is consumption and investment they are all recovered very strongly for example like on consumer the consumer confidence is still continue very high yeah. inflation in indonesia is relatively very moderate 5.3 percent mm -hmm. And this is despite we've already increased our, our fuel price last September. Uh, but so, do you see upside risk to inflation? Uh, we watch very carefully, especially on the rice, because yes. food price is one of the biggest contributor for Indonesia inflation. And that's why we have a very good coordination between national government, local government, central bank, in order for us to be able to continue monitor the source of inflation, whether this is volatile food, whether this is administered price, core inflation, which is coming from the demand driven. We don't see it as a upside risk uh, on this inflation. In fact, by the end of this year, we are expecting the inflation to go down even to the targeted level, uh, in this case, three plus minus one. Would that mean that you would roll back some of the subsidies uh, that you announced earlier on or not quite? No, well, the subsidy, which is the biggest one last year, is actually for the fuel. Yeah. This is despite that we increased uh, by 30% last year on our fuel price. But this is uh, consists of the biggest uh, subsidy for Indonesia. This year, of course, with the difference between the market price of oil uh, at the global level with our domestic price, that is the level of subsidy that we provide. Uh, with the oil price now already declined to a level of uh, just above 80 on the brand, yeah. I think this is also provide a much relief on the subsid subsidy spending for us for this year. For so this we year. are going to be uh, relatively okay. On the growth, we are still continue using 5.3% our growth this year mm -hmm. according to our budget. We see some downside risk, but relatively... How much look downside risk, ma'am? Well, well, this is range. mainly coming from the export. Exactly. Currently, that we are looking uh, between 5 to 5.3. Mm -hmm. Some international organizations like IMF or World Bank, they are predicted much lower, between 4.7 or 4.8 to 5.3. Mm -hmm. So their range is much wider. But uh, we are using a much uh, narrower range because we think that the upside uh, growth source coming from domestic is still very, very strong, especially on the consumption and investment. So